Hey everyone, very first YouTube video here. My name's Elliot and uh, this is gonna be our very first YouTube video. We're out here in the barn rebuilding the engine on a John Deere X300 lawn tractor. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't even think about filming the teardown, so I'm gonna bring in NMedia Res here and, and show the reassembly of the engine and, and the installation of all the new parts. But uh, just kind of wanted to show my face and introduce myself. We've got the uh, we've got the shop dog here. That's Effie Doberman. She's helping me out. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around here and show you where we're at. All right. So we've got the engine pulled off the lawn tractor here. It's basically stripped down almost to the bare block. I've pulled the valve covers and the heads out of it. Pulled the crankshaft cover off. Pulled the camshaft and pulled the pistons out of it. Um, that piston's just kind of sitting in there. More on that later. Um, I'm still waiting on the rebuild kit. It's in the mail. But in the meantime, we'll pan over here to the lawn tractor itself. I got parts everywhere I need to clean up. Um, it's in pretty good condition. It's a 2006 or 2008 model. We bought it used. Not a whole lot of work to do, but I figure while I've got it all apart, I might as well get in here. There's a few spots that are rusted, so I'm going to get in there and uh, bring that down to bare metal with the grinder and prime and paint it. Just clean it up a little bit. Um, before we put it back on since there's nothing else we can do on the engine right now in the meantime anyway So that's where we're at. I'll show you. This is the before I'll show you the after I don't really need to show you that it's kind of boring and uh, once the parts get here and I start putting Humpty Dumpty back together again We will uh, we'll show you that So I figured I'd go ahead and show you maybe a quick time lapse of me cleaning this up because why not? Um, I couldn't find my wire wheel, so I'm just going to use a standard flap disc. If you haven't seen these before, it's basically just sandpaper glued onto a grinder wheel. They work great for cleaning up metal. They can cut really fast if you want them to. These are 40 grit. Uh, you can go finer than that, but 40 grit's going to eat through that in no time at all. All right, so you just saw me do a time lapse of grinding there, and that was all of about two minutes. Like I said, those flap discs work great. I wanted to show you the after picture here. So you can see we're pretty much down to bare metal. Still a few spots here and there of uh, just light surface rust and some light pitting. The, I didn't want to grind too much away here. I'm not worried about it. This is just where the battery sits, and this is a beefy piece of metal. It's going to outlast the machine. What I will do is I will degrease this, and then I will prime it with rust reformer. And if you've never seen that, it just comes in a rattle can and it goes on like black spray paint. And it essentially converts all that iron oxide into a, well, you can see, instantly converts rust to a protected paintable surface. And this will stop that oxidation process from occurring completely. So all of these rust spots, if you just cover it with paint, if that paint chips and you get oxygen, it'll continue to rust. Uh, this will completely stop that oxidation process from happening and it won't continue to rust. So I'll degrease it, rust reformer, and then I'll hit it with a coat of some black spray paint, and then this will be done. All right, so we're ready to go ahead and degrease and get this area cleaned up. I wanted to show a new tool I just got yesterday, actually. And it's one of these SureShot sprayers. These are just, um, they're a pressure vessel. You fill them about two thirds with any light liquid that you might have. In this case, I just have a generic degreaser in here. And about one third with air. I filled mine to 125 PSI. And when you do that, It'll spray like that. It's a great way for you to avoid buying rattle cans of liquids that you use frequently. You can buy your liquids in bulk, and save a lot of money by using these. There are other brands available. So I'm just gonna give that a light spritz of degreaser like that. I've got some paper towels here. You can use shop rags, you can use just old clothes. You can use whatever you want, it doesn't matter. You're just gonna give this a quick degrease, get the area cleaned off, get all that old flat disc material off of there and just get it cleaned up. So I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna get it nice and clean. I'm gonna prime it and paint it and I'll bring it back when it's done and show you the finished result. 